automatic video editor test one. First, we need to load up a level, then I'll explain what the automatic video editor is. Automatic video editor test one. The point of the automatic video editor is to automatically make a real disjointed highlight reel out of whatever video game I play. This is the first test run for the automatic editor, so I really have no idea what it'll spew out of it, but I'm just gonna play Beam and G Drive for maybe 20 to 30 minutes, and then we'll see what comes out of that. Hopefully, there's a lot of crashes. And you know what one of the best ways is to make a good crash? It's to try to drift a corner you know you're going too fast for. Like right here, yeah, there's no way I could really drift that going at that angle, but we're gonna try it anyways, and I failed to crash. Wouldn't you have that happen to you? Like, I totally want to crash right here, and then I actually stay on the road. Like, what's up with that? Let's just, you know, I, I want to crash! Yeah, there's a crash. Not exactly the best crash, but it's something. Try number two at drifting around a corner at too high of a speed. And I make it! Like, all of a sudden, I am a drift king. There's a crash. If it wasn't exactly how it was supposed to go, but it's a crash at least. I think we keep driving this, no problem. There's a problem, it sucks at driving. How about we replace it? I'm getting bored of the truck anyways. I don't want to drive a truck. I want to drive something more fun like the ETK 856 TT Sport. Split in the road, which way do you go? Straight. That's the way to go. Where do you go this way? Straight. Oh, that didn't work as well. Didn't work at all. Dirt road, dirt road. Okay, now we can drift. Drift! Drift into the tree! This is the kind of crash I was looking for! Here we go! Kind of a low speed crash because they're so far away. But that's the crash I wanted to see because those crashes are some of the more interesting ones, I think. Oh, through the little tunnel! Oh my goodness, this car barely fits when it's trying to like drift sideways on its own! Oh goodness. That's ah, okay, we didn't need that tire anyways. Yes, we did. Wait, yes we did. We are failing to drive. That tire was important. After Fast, 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 oh no. Mm -mm. That could totally drive. Never mind, it says drive shaft broken. It's not gonna drive at all. I need gas! Gas, gas, gas! That's totally the normal way to get gas, guys. If you don't get gas like that, you're doing something wrong. Oh, drive shaft broken again. We need a more durable car. This thing is breaking too easily. Let's just fix it up and... Well, flip it over, get a different car. How about the Pesma uh, all-wheel steering edition? I love the all-wheels. And I can't even get it upright by teleporting because I spawned it on its side. We gotta, like, yank it. Come on, Pesma, get upright. Oh, that was the spoiler I grabbed or something. Okay, try to grab the trunk again. And the trunk fell off. Well, come on, Pesma, get on the ground. There you go. Okay, now we gotta reset you because you're beat up. And as I was saying earlier, we need gas, which, okay, <laughs> that totaled the car. We don't need gas that badly, never mind, gas is killing the car. We have an electric car, we don't need gas anymore. It just sounds like an engine because people like the sound of engines. Drifting the bridge! Oh, that was perfect. Oh, and it'll still drive if we pull it off. I don't know if it'll survive being pulled off, though. Pull it gently, I guess. Try to grab it, like, by a big point. Oh, that's not working. That is not working. Uh, oh, yes, there it goes. Okay. 90% uh, of the damage came from yanking it off of the wheel, apparently. And then 10% came from the actual crash or so. I think this thing will still drive, though. Hold on. Let's just get it upright. Get it upright. I really need to take the camera off the car, but I am too lazy to do that. Eventually, it lands upright. See? Does it drive? Oh, yes. Well... That's not driving, it puts power down, that's it. This isn't gonna go anywhere, I don't think. Maybe it will. All right, we're going somewhere. At blazing speeds of 15 to 20 miles per hour, we are going somewhere. And now we're not, because we spun out. I can't believe this thing is driving though. That whole back section is just so destroyed. How about a new car? Let's go Corvette uh, Special Edition. I was gonna floor it until I crashed. The problem is we've been sitting at like 70-ish miles per hour for a while. We can barely go faster than 80 because whenever we get to a corner, it slows us down too much to crash. Wait, here we go. Here's a crash. Nope, see, it's just too good at not crashing. I'm not even hitting the brakes. I'm just holding the pedal to the floor. And we can't crash. What's up with that? Come on. Just make it crash. There we go. Much better. And that actually killed the engine. Okay, great. Rally mode engaged. On to the 
dirt road. Oh goodness, this is not okay. Well, um, yeah, I can still drive, but you know what? I'm bored of this, so let's just move on to a new map like uh, Dry Rock Island. And for Dry Rock Island, we'll get a new car. How about we get something that's actually made to drift, like the Drift Missile Grand Marshal? Yep, that's a drifter. Like, I hit the pedal and just smoke everywhere. That's a drift car. And I already crashed it. That's amazing. I, I am amazing at crashing it, although I think it didn't even really do any important damage. We can keep driving. No problem, so let's do it again. And again. All these little light taps will eventually kill it, but so far it's still good to go. Another light tap. What? What? Wait a minute, that was a light tap, not a, a car is on fire kind of tap. Why are you on fire? And why is the fire so loud? I don't remember it normally being this loud. That fire is loud. I can't even hear the engine because it's so loud. Oh, now the fire's quiet. So weird. Maybe I'm outrunning the sound of the fire. Okay. Can't top run it anymore because we are flipped upside down. Let's just go back to where we started. And I already popped a tire. That was amazing. I got like 10 feet and then I pop a tire. Doesn't matter. I didn't need that traction. I'm a drift car. I made the slide. I wish I had traction right now. I wish I had traction right now. How did I not crash? I was going through the bushes and this stuff. The what? Like I would have thought I would have crashed into something. All right, let's crash then. Watch, I'm going to dodge everything amazingly. Nope. There's a crash. I'm surprised it didn't catch on fire because it seems like I did something like that last time and it's like engulfing flames. This time it's being much more reasonable about that. Through the bushes, through the bushes. I don't know which ones I can and can't crash into. Definitely can crash into the trees. Don't want to do that and I just did. Still drives for now and I've literally gotten it stuck between two trees. I have literally gotten stuck between two trees. Right. Let's go ahead and try something else I wanted to see what would happen with the automatic video editor. What if I was doing a scenario and then I failed it halfway through and then I tried to do it again? Will it be able to pick up properly? Let's find out. So let's say we were doing this scenario. We were driving the Covet amazingly until we got, well, I don't know. We'll say a few checkpoints in and then we'll crash intentionally. Although it's kind of hard to crash this thing because it's so slow. We're going to do no brakes allowed and see how far we can get. That'll be what we do. No brakes allowed, maybe we'll finish it, probably not though. Okay, well, yeah, with no brakes, you can't really get this thing to steer, and we missed the checkpoint. This time, brakes will be allowed just enough to slide the car to that checkpoint. Come on, touch it. Oh, are you serious? I missed it again? We're not gonna miss it this time. I'm gonna slow down so hard that I know I won't miss it. There we go, there's a checkpoint. So that's the kind of goal of the thing though, is you know, just uh, ta-da, look, it's three takes in quick time with real ugly editing. I know, that's ugly editing. It's hard to automate good editing, but it's real easy to automate ugly editing. Okay, apparently I uh, ruined the car, it can't go right. It won't go right. It'll go left, but it won't go right. Wait, that will. Weird. Uh, what the heck is going on? I'm hitting go right. And okay, the right wheel is definitely broken. It just looked like it was operating correctly. Functional vehicle, let's go! Slide it! Slide it! And did I miss another checkpoint? I did, didn't I? Oh, that is so annoying when I miss a checkpoint. I'm just gonna backtrack for this one. Slide into it! Come on! Look at this, so close! You gotta give me a little leeway! Really? Okay, there you got it. Anyways, on we go to the next checkpoint. When are they going to replace that billboard? That billboard still looks so work in progress. Like, it's just the name of the company. I'm surprised there hasn't been a mod that actually just replaces the billboard with something. Maybe there is, and I've just never seen it before. I don't know. I don't recall ever seeing one. But that just looks like such a work in progress kind of billboard. It's like, that is not a finished looking billboard, is it? Slide! 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 Don't crash! Crash, I mean. Crash, yeah, crash. I don't care. Radiator damage, it still drives, but I don't feel like finishing this. So let's not finish it. Let's just crash it again and I don't know. We'll uh, maybe do something at Leap of Death at, just for the heck of it. Bye bye truck. And you could fall for as long as you want. Well, until you hit the ground at least. There's the ground, sort of. That's close enough to the ground, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we had a Leap of Death. 
Now I am going to go ahead and end the video and I'm going to see what the automatic editor spews out from this little game session I did right here. And boy, was this game session boring.